goodness, look at that baby. Southwest Florida is home to a lot of fun and cute, adorable animals like this baby squirrel right here. It's a great place to just learn about them and also uh, the Peace River Wildlife Center can educate you about them as well. So that's also where you're going to find Executive Director Robin Jenkins. Good morning. Good morning. So great to have you back. Uh, it is squirrel season. That's what we're talking about today. And I just, I cannot believe the, the uh, acuteness overload that is happening <laughs> right now. How old is this baby? This little baby is about five weeks old. Oh my She'll gosh. She'll be opening her eyes soon. So, and then uh, somebody ended up finding, a, I guess, a litter. Do you call them litters? Uh, yeah. The, uh, yeah. Litter um, <laughs> of squirrels somebody, and, and bringing right. the one in. The nest had been uh, uh, trimmed out of a tree, actually. They were trimming oh, some no. trees, and the, the nest was brought down. I suppose that happens a lot. It does. Uh, this time of year, you know, people are, are still trimming their palm trees, and, uh, you know, so they'll chop down oh, the nest. Oh, my gosh. And, you know, if you if you leave the nest on the ground, mom will usually come back and take the babies okay. and relocate them to another oh, nest. Okay. So that's the best thing to do for the babies. So if you see one, you know, how long should you typically wait? If you see this one hanging out in the yard by itself, kind of keep an eye yeah. on it and make sure he's in the shade. You know, so you don't want him to get overheated in the mm -hmm. sun. Uh, but other than that, kind of leave him alone. For so kind of give him a chance for mom to come back. An first. hour or two. Well, if you don't see mom around in that period of time, then you want to you want to pick them up and and call the wildlife center and bring them to someone who's who's you know licensed and certified. Because I would think about what you know would another animal try to Absolutely. get him if you've oh, yeah. been on the, the, the little baby like that with his eyes not open yet yeah. and no way to really protect himself. Right. The hawks will get after him. You know, cats, dogs, raccoons, possums. I mean, everybody's going to eat these little guys. You know, at this age. Um, but you know, you, your mom is going to be the best person to mm -hmm. raise him. Mm -hmm. So if you, you know, and then if you, if mom doesn't come back, something happened to her, uh, then you need to get him to s somebody who's who knows what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Like, like doesn't look, look like I know what I'm doing here. But <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys really know how to take care of them. I mean, that, that, that's what your guys' right. mission is and yes. your job is to take yes. care of uh, animals who are in need of a rescue like this. We always try to remind everybody that you know, especially when it comes to a squirrel, they're not pets, even though they are adorable. Right. Uh, they're not like our dogs and our cats that we have at home. So uh, we really encourage anyone who does find them uh, in their yard or, or find a nest of, of really any kind of animal that if it, you do see it distressed and you do see it need, uh, needs help to bring right. it into the Peace River Wildlife Center because you do have a lot of situations where people do try to keep them, right, Robin? Right. You, you know, they see it. It's very adorable. You know, you, you go on the Internet to find, well, what do I feed this? Well, if you look at seven different sites, you're going to find seven yeah. different Everyone things to always, do. Everyone always have the answer and with Google, we think, don't we? It's <laughs> almost always wrong. You know, um, unfortunately, this little girl was fed the wrong thing, the wrong amount at the wrong periods of time. Mm -hmm. So by the time she got to us, she was severely dehydrated. Oh, she had really bad diarrhea. So um, the, the lady that, that, that had it, fortunately, was smart enough to know she was in over her head. She brought it to us. Good, and good. I think we're going to be able to turn this baby around. Okay, okay. Um, Sometimes people don't bring them in until it's too late, and yeah. then we lose them, oh, and that's it's so, so sad. Unfortunate. But the, the main thing is, you know, it, it, you're, you're better off feeding nothing at all than feeding the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Does, uh, how long, I, I mean, is it, does the mother usually leave them? I mean, how often does it happen where the mother doesn't come back for them, or why wouldn't mm -hmm. she come back? Does it have well, anything to do with scent or anything, or no, is it just, okay? No, that is really an old wives' tale. Like, if you find a baby, you're afraid to touch, touch it, it because right. mom will smell so the humans. we've heard that a lot. That. That, that's really an old wives' tale. That's not going to happen. The only reason mom's not going to come back is, is if, you know, something, you know, if she got hit by a car, or oh, she got, goodness. you know. Something happened, pain usually. Somehow that she can't come back to her babies. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, I mean, for their, you know, trimming trees and they're making a lot of racket. Yeah. yeah she might kind not of come scared. back because of that. But, yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, I kind of tell everyone about the Peace River Wildlife Center. And I know that, um, you know, you guys depend on a lot of donations. So Absolutely. certainly yeah. if, um, you know, helping out a, a little baby like this, you really depend on the community's mm -hmm. help. Yeah. So we, we are a wildlife rehabilitation facility. We take care of injured and orphaned wildlife. And um, we get no uh, state or federal funding, so we rely on donations. We have some non-releasable animals uh, on display, mm -hmm. on educational display. We're open to the public uh, seven days a week from 11 to 4. So you're welcome to come down 
drop-off donations. We uh, on our website we have a li our wish list. Uh, okay. A lot of people instead of giving us money will go shopping for us okay. and they'll buy us paper towels and bleach and, and different things that we need. So yeah, a small donation if you want to walk in the door, it really is a great place. I was out there recently, so I got yeah. to see the grounds. It is a beautiful place and again, a great place to take your kids if you're looking for uh, something family friendly to do. Robin, great to see you. Thank you so much great for what you, you do. Thank you so much.